Welcome back. What up? Welcome back. Howdy, howdy. All right. So you're in the Black Widow, hanging out. Rand went upstairs to get away from the moving spider to shag chairs into bed. Uh, you are sent. Okay, so you up there, right? Yeah. I'm gonna shift you for one. They bring to you a. Uh, it's kind of a clay jug with a stopper and a mug, right? Um, I used to be able to shut one hand. You pour it out. It's kind of thick. Actually, never know what's. And it's a weird color. It's not an, a normal ale color that you've ever seen. Jug, jug, jug. Uh, it smells. Uh, it smells faintly of mushrooms. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it, this crawl. underdark thing is not to Rand's liking. Uh, do you drink it? He pulls the cork and, like, after, again, this is him after seeing a room full of spiders and then moving chairs who he thinks are still spiders. But yeah, he just kind of, like, pulls it up, takes a Big old gulp, and then cast it again. Okay. Do I need to make a check? You do not. Okay, good. So, it tastes a little bit like ale, but not really. Uh, it's basically the sort of underdark beer of sorts okay. made from mushrooms. Uh, it has a it has a very mushroomy. Okay, but it's it, it's not like one of those death dances or anything that Rain can't handle. No. No. Okay. No. It's 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 not bad. Okay. Uh, it would be bad if you didn't much care for mushrooms because it has which a very, Rain does not. It has, a, it has a very strong mushroomy aftertaste. But I he also drinks uh, still reserves. So. But it's <laughs> I'm facing it on myself. <laughs> but it it's not terrible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you had requested something more. Now, if you want it, because they do have surface-oriented drinks, but they're more expensive because it's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a hot commodity there. Um, it's like they have elven wine that is 10 gold per glass. That wouldn't be like one gold per glass on the surface. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you can get some of that if you wish. There's a number of people there. There is a bard playing uh, playing some music in the corner. Another death bell. Uh, I would like um, whatever the bartender recommends that will not put me on my ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He serves up similar similar beverages to what Perfect. he got. If you wish to partake, you can. Um, it's good. It's unlike anything you've had. You can definitely taste the... the it, it has a strong alcohol content to it. Like stronger than you know, your typical ales or meads or whatever. Uh, but it's not like death dancer level kind of drink. Fuck you up, okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> if you have enough of it, it'll fuck you up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 not too bad. Hey guys, are we going anywhere else tonight? Or otherwise I think I'm just gonna drink up here and go to sleep. You can get me in the morning. <clears throat> are we doing anything else tonight? You're not invited. <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> I think I think we're fine, Rand. <laughs> okay, that's actually exactly what I wanted to hear, but go on with what you were doing. <laughs> Any interactions you wanted to do while here, or just have a few? Check for penumbra agents. Okay, uh, give me. Let me start your roll first. Ooh, 70. 70. 70. Oh, there's another zero there, too. <laughs> and uh, a perception check. Not a 70. <laughs> no, it's 14. not. Huh? 14. 14. Uh, there do not appear to be any penumbra agents here. In this particular um, space. Yes. 
Are you gonna go off and be chaotic, stupid? Uh, probably. Um, okay. Rain's up in his seen room. These nice chairs. Rain's <laughs> up in his room. And they are pretty comfortable. Every, every like one of those. What they are. On the way oh, through the, the city, had we been escorted? Was there anywhere that we might have seen that was obvious? I mean, like obviously with a shop sign or something, an apothecary. Great question. Uh, can, oh wait, never mind. I can't even speak the fucking language. Can you read that? <laughs> no, I was about to say. Damn, never mind. Oh, we have that. We have that ceremony this evening. You do. Oh no, yeah. 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 Rand, actually, dear. Um, how on a level of I don't care to <clears throat> I don't care. How drunk are you right now? Not very. He's You've only Rand. had one goal. After realizing okay. that he doesn't speak the goddamn language in this town, <laughs> then he's. He's actually about to climb out the window when you talk to him, and he sits there thinking, oh. I just remembered, yeah, no, yep, we have the ceremony. I'll be there. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Brush your hair and put on your best outfit, please. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it on thick. <laughs> that's, that's great. Rain specifically, whenever we do leave for that, Rain so specifically Rand, comes out very does she scruffily. Does a small bag of holding for your balls? <laughs> oh. ah. that's, that's nice. Mm, what a burn. <laughs> what a burn. That's what you burn. <laughs> Stings. Uh, <clears throat> the room, Brandon, by the way, your card. the room <clears throat> does have. There's, there's a, a bed, obviously. There's a lamp uh, with a sort of bedside table. There's a small desk. Um, the sort of bases of all of this appears to be stone, like it's not wood or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, the bed is, uh, it's cloth, and it, it does have some give. You think it might be moss. Okay. Like, inside of, like, as the, the stuffing of the bed. <clears throat> it is not moving like the chairs were. <laughs> I'll say Thank that. God. Yeah. Well, Rand just kind of sits there <laughs> sipping from his jug until people let him know we're doing something from them. So, yeah. Maybe two hours pass. You might chat with a few of the denizens of the tavern. Um, some of the, the the servants give you, like, pleading looks. Like, get me the fuck out of here. Kind of a thing. <laughs> but <clears throat> they don't speak up about mm -hmm. any of that. There's none of the, you know, there's no like, hey, can you get us out of here? <laughs> uh, because of fear of speaking out of turn and being sent to the arena. <clears throat> so a few hours pass. Hey, unless there's something you wanted to do. Well, the, the social justice lover in me kind of wants to have Rand do some recon and figure out again I'm only What's pretending to be your <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just carry on I don't have to <laughs> save we don't have to save everybody but Rand we could really help a lot of people nah I don't figure that there's only the one answer. particular group of people Rand cares about and you wouldn't even know that about him mm. like uh, his, his mistress right his orphans <laughs> Yeah, I care about, like, street urchins and everything. Like, those are the ones that I help. Plot twist. All of the servants in this realm are former <laughs> street urchins. Probably. <laughs> right? Cave urchins. <laughs> okay, yeah, we streets. can just carry on. They're just sea urchins. <laughs> they're, they're, what about the other letters? There are right? definable streets, so, yeah. Talk about them like that. You, uh... Later on that evening, head back to the tavern or the chapel, rather. And Rand has finished the ball, the jug by then. <laughs> Feeling good. Yes. <laughs> Feeling pretty toasty. But he's not walking; he's riding bark, so he's not that's swaying. Gonna be, that's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Do you sit toward the front, in the back? Middle, what's the where where do you sit? 
Um, in this particular set. <clears throat> Towards the front, but not the very front. Okay. Got it. Nope. In the back. <laughs> Rand sits by her. Okay. Kind of has to. With Bark kind of just like at the end of the pew. Like a bitch. Bark. Uh, the Death Elves seem very interested in Bark. Not in the sense of like food or anything. <laughs> <laughs> just to or dispel if he that. Good. <laughs> uh, it's a talking dog with metal talking armor. Dog on. Yeah. With. Uh, no Mish Armor. With No Mish Armor, who happens to have blue fur. Oh, oh he Why is he blue. blue fur again? Because, um, uh, what's his face? The, uh, Sven? Sven. Sven turned him Sven's blue. Sven's coffee shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember that? <clears throat> it was a dog treat. That, that was did it. it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I forgot that I'm <laughs> Okay, I just want to reiterate the picture of. A, uh, a goddamn uh, dachshund in metal armor with yeah. blue fur. Yeah, they're Dog. they're very interested in the in the arcane implications of Bark, and he loves attention of any kind. Yeah, he's just like, hey, what's yeah, up? Oh, yeah, are you blue? Uh, oh, so I had a treat and is, I did that. He kind of roams a little bit. Yeah, uh, for you know reasons. Anyway, Alisaria. Kind of approaches from a, a side door near the. Uh, hey, Dave. You motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> so you want to do that again? <laughs> Motherfuck what? Um, can I cast seeming again? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> That's very funny. Tasha's vicious laughter comes to mind instead. <laughs> That's really good. You're good. I'm Fucking the only devil one. spawn of arachne just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> it's just more like vicious mockery that's, at this point. That's really good. Uh, very good. So, oh, sorry, comes out. And uh, she has a little... It, it's about a quiver-sized tube of Technos that is... Black in its color, <coughs> and she mm. uh, kind of announces tonight we will be performing the summoning. To is this in common or drought? Um, it is in. Do you speak under common? <laughs> I speak halfling and common, common and thieves can't. Thieves That's can't. it. Common, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it is in. She starts speaking in the Death Elf language, which I'll need to come up with the name of that at some point. Um, and then, for your sakes, also says it in common. Okay. That's just nice of her. <laughs> we have a few guests here. And they are here to, uh, they have a few inquiries that we will be uh, trying to figure out. Might even say they were illustrious inquiries. Uh, illustrious mm. inquiries, yes. And we have an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Nice. Well played. Let us begin. And obviously none of you know any of this nor do any of you, except for you who happens to have the, the helm of tongues, uh, speak the language, but they start a sort of sing-song chant uh, of sorts. And Alisaria takes her tech pen and begins to write in the space in front of her, so like she's she's behind the altar, right? And so she is um, she's writing in the space between herself and the altar, and she makes all these arcane runes in a circular-ish pattern, um, and she too is doing the chant, the sing-songy chant. Um, and once she finishes the rune 
set the technos coalesces and you can see it being drawn from the from the, from cylinder, the jar from the cylinder yeah, yeah, or uh, yeah. and it goes around the edges and it fills in as well kind of like drippy like when like at the beginning of all of the James Bond games Mm. With like the blood, so yeah, the blood out. drip comes down, yeah, um, and it fills the whole surface. And then <clears throat> there is from from the center of it, because it's solid black. From the center of it, there is a uh, blue glowing dot that expands until it reaches pretty close to the outside edges, but the outside edges stay black. And then from it onto the altar, a full-sized naga arrives. It's a it's a bone naga. It's a large, basically, it's a large skeletal snake, and it doesn't seem perturbed or anything like that. Like it knew, it seemed like it knew kind of what was going on, and it begins to speak in. Partial tongue. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, it actually begins to speak in celestial. Oh, okay. Nice. Which I don't. I think only you would understand. Anyone else know celestial? No, okay. the only weird language I know is Sylvan. No. Right in You would understand what. It's like. Kind of, kind of what's going on. Uh, it says, you... You have summoned me. F for what purpose? To be found in the <laughs> And Alisaria, um, converting to speaking, Celestial, <clears throat> responds, um, we have summoned you for many things one of them is and you can like I guess kind of hold 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 the ring down and like translate it for, okay. for them and <coughs> uh, we have three inquiries of you And it says, uh, ask. She says, first, is there a need for a cleansing anywhere? And it says, yes. And it gives a location. <clears throat> second second inquiry what destroyed Bandar seven years ago and there's a pause there's kind of a long pause like 30 seconds kind of pause and that's where you came from, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There'll be a brief pause here as well. So <laughs> just a second. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh, great. Did they say that too? No. Good. This is me as the dungeon master. <laughs> the dungeon master saying that'll be fun <laughs> is bad for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll kill it. You might not, but we will. You won't either. You'll do damage to it, but you won't kill it. No, I, I'll do damage. No, kill. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I, say, I kill lots of things. Just don't hit very hard. Do I want it to be that or not? It's cool. Perhaps. <clears throat> hmm. Let me in there. 
Because... Get over here. <laughs> scorpion. It was Scorpion. Scorps. Not Hanzo. Oh, already killed Scorps. You already, you already killed Scorps. That's true. <clears throat> I'm just waiting until we get to the very end of the campaign and Herc is the final boss somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's... I he know a... him. He's a friend from work. He has an army of dick rangers or something. Not dick, dick rangers. rangers. Go, go, dick <laughs> rangers. <laughs> Up here, they're down here. <laughs> Shape up, screwed them. That is wow. <laughs> That's wow. when we need that blue ball spell. <laughs> they're erecting a megazord. <laughs> Erect. <laughs> oh, this is the night of dick jokes. Wow. <laughs> this really is the night of dick jokes. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> well, we do, with these dick jokes, we do like to hit them hard and fast. <laughs> Oof. Anyway, let's continue. Let us continue. Uh, Jesse just blows him out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> blue water those jokes, you know. It's... It considers the question and says it was Matthias Greylock. Master Vampire. Mm. And his horde of vampire, vampire spawn. What was the name of the town again? Vandar. They destroyed the town to mask their presence. Isn't that the plot to part of Underworld? Hmm? No. My mom just hid my presents under her bed. She didn't kill everyone to mask them. As far as you know. <laughs> and then the final inquiry is who is Chiron's father? This has a long, this has a longer pause, because... Hmm. We have an episode of Mori? We're <laughs> <laughs> hearing out the father. I need to write stuff down. I must say, this is, because it's kind of yeah. relevant to you. <laughs> it's very <laughs> for you to write down. Uh, I'll spell it for you, just for I'll reasons spell here. spell it out for you. Uh, it's A-R-A-K-O-S. Ericos? Ericos. The Demon Lord Ericos. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. <laughs> cool. Gonna kill a Demon Lord. And um, <clears throat> part of the ceremony, like after the summoning, of course. The Nago will go back into the portal. The portal closes, and she then invites all who wish to partake in the like the, those who are not excommunicated, so to speak, uh, to take the. The Chaldea sacrament kind of thing, where they basically get their heads shorn again. If there's any hair on there, you know. Thanks. Huh? No thanks. And. Take my hair right where it's at. They all do. Jolak does not. Uh, he, he, if if you recall, he had the close cropped hair uh, which is black by the way and he just stays in the back watching I gotta name this one and then we'll continue later 
Bye.